So text. So the definition of text. Text is the body of words within a book and, or printed work. Serifs. Serifs are the lines of the upper and lower strokes of a letter, which makes the letter more distinctive and allows the reader to recognize the words more easily. These. Well, why Hmm? Well, why you have to imitate running writing? To imitate running writing. No. To lead it from one letter to another. Oh. Across a page. That's why These are commonly used in books or magazines. Uh, sans serifs are without the lines at the edge. At the edge. Um, so sans serifs are usually used in actual. Uh, computer text, because uh, computers usually display 100 dots per inch, I think. Um, and the sans serif makes it so it's easier and more clear to read. Okay, so decorative fonts, uh, they include extreme features. So as JV uh, said, uh, the serifs, they use serifs, but it's more exaggerated. Uh, so they have like long tails, as you can see on the picture. Uh, they're meant to be used sparingly, or otherwise it will be hard to read like that. Uh, uh, they're often used in uh, greeting cards, posters, newspaper headers, etc. So bold fonts are to exaggerate a point, so usually they're used to make um, the character or whoever you're talking about say something loud. Uh, there's different stages of bold fonts. There's uh, bold, extra bold, and black and extra, which is different weighting for it. So there's the first one, which is bold, which is like small, oh, very small weighting, and then it gets bigger and bigger, makes it fatter, and that's an example of bold. Okay, so italic type text, uh, it's a cursive font, so it's based on that stylized form. Uh, we've all used italics once in our lives, and if you haven't, you're gonna use it eventually. Um, <laughs> it's basically uh, text that's uh, sloped slightly to the right and it's used to stress on words that speakers use. Um, so say in presentations, um, um, words for emphasis, emphasis that they're gonna be in italics, um, just to stress on the words that they're gonna speak. Um, also, uh, titles, quotes, they're gonna be in italics. It's just so they stand out it's for emphasis, that's it. So an underline is simply a line under the word which shows importance or emphasis. These are normally used in subtitles, headings, or hyperlinks. Hey, that's me. Okay, so arrangement, it's, it's literally in the title, guys. Alignment, so you align stuff. Uh, it's based on a margin, so there are four different types. You've got flush left, right, center, and justified. Um, justified is basically they line up evenly between both, and the others are pretty self-explanatory, left, right, center. And those are examples of all the different types. Okay, so indents are basically the increase or decrease of space uh, between the left or right margins. They're typically five spaces from the margins. Uh, you can do it by pressing tab on your keyboard and you'll just move the paragraph. Uh, it'll be indent indented. So you can, you can also do it up there uh, where the arrow is pointing. Yeah, that's indented. Uh, okay. Oh. okay, so bullets, uh, small symbol used for listing. Um, so that's literally just used for listing, it's not used for anything else really. Um, as you can see here, it's used for bullet list, and that's an example of it. Okay, so numbering, you can use it when you're numbering your pages. Uh, captions, they're used uh, as labels, so like in your science textbooks or math textbooks, you have your figure 1.2 tables, equations, uh, and uh, footnotes, they're used as a note of reference. Uh, so they put like a number and it will just reference uh, on the bottom of the page, uh, basically explaining what that is referencing to. Uh, there's numbered lists, so one, two, your lists, uh, and heading numbering, your chapters, and for your table contents. So font size it uh, is usually measured in points, but uh, nowadays they're also measured in pixels and pika, 
pixels is px and pika is pc um, font size is just the size of the font depending on how many points it is um, font sizes vary depending on what you're writing so if a heading could have a bigger font than the actual body of the paragraph um, they mostly mostly you can see a change in fonts in magazines um, uh, computer articles and everything else so color is a substance used to give something a particular color um, when reflected by light so when color is used in text it's used to give emphasis or to give visual appeal so that's why magazines use them a lot and um, which and can also be used in book titles as well uh, so stroke and fill so filling is the process of painting the interior of a shape while stroke is the process of drawing the shape's outline so for example this logo um, utilizes a different stroke and a different fill Okay, so headings and subheadings. So we've got a heading there, and uh, underneath, it's basically the heading is the main title, it's the eye catcher. Um, basically, talks about the, the main point of the whole page. And then the subheading is basically branching off the title or what the, um, it's like contents and stuff. Um, but it's, given, it's a subject uh, given to a piece of writing. Um, and they're commonly found in magazines, websites, books, literally anything. You're going to find titles or subtitles or subheadings. Okay, so formatting paragraphs and documents is essentially what, what's been discussed. Uh, your alignment of text, spacing, indenting, numbering, and you can also add borders to your paragraphs. Uh, formatting documents, your numbering, applying font or styles, uh, yeah, different fonts, paragraph spacing as well. So pagination is dividing or splitting a document into either pr electronic or printed pages. Uh, they're usually used in books where you can see the number on the page and it, sh it helps to order each page and make sure that everything's in the correct order. Yep, thanks for listening guys.